Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, uh, Stanley. All right, coming in with this week's Queen Sugar, Season 5, Episode 8, entitled June, June 3rd. 3rd. Yeah. Listen, there was a lot that happened. But, but not a lot. But, but not a lot. Right. So we're going to talk about it as as we always do. And we're going to get right into it. And then we're going to leave y'all so y'all go to bed like the rest of us. But anywho... So we start off with Blue having a nightmare about being shot by the police officer from last week's episode. And I'm like, this is where information meets experience. And yeah. then it translates over into you having to mentally process all this. And as a young boy, he don't know how to process this. So it's coming out in his nightmares. Right. But um, that's really the last that we saw of that. I don't know if that's going to manifest into different things a little later. We're going to keep our eye on it. But listen, this was not the last that Mr. <laughs> Blue was a topic of discussion. Nah. So we know that over at the wedding when um, they had Darlene on Zoom or FaceTime, whatever they had her on, she kind of had put that little nugget out there then that blue had been tested and that you know that he could be going much further if he in if he was able to go to a school in dc and you know we've been seeing that that was coming mm -hmm. up here and there and everywhere well this week <laughs> mm -hmm. we see Darla having a full-blown argument with her mom because her mom is taking it upon herself which i'm like her who mom are you? is yeah she is so out of pocket right now yeah who yeah. are you to tell <laughs> to like take it among yourself right to go and apply for schools for my child to yeah, go to. Yeah, without even running by me first. Yeah. Yeah. So, long story short, and listen, I'm not mad at her taking the opportunity because I told some people um, when all of this stuff was going on with Black Lives Matter and how the spotlight yeah. has been on the fact that these companies are not diverse, that there's all and, the way at the top is all white and at the bottom, that's where you see they, us. And they put out that they want to diversify? Apply. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Even when you're not qualified. Yep. Apply. So I'm not mad at the fact that she saw a little loophole and she was like, oh, this is an opportunity that I can slide my grandson in there and then I'm able to get him in on a full ride. Right. So right opportunity, but wrong approach. Very wrong approach. Yeah. So Dollar's not feeling it and she ended up calling on that. Now, you know I'm Vi. She don't even like her anyway, so you already know what she was going to say. <laughs> I said. So, Vi has Dollar on speakerphone while they're having this conversation. And we know how the conversation went. No, he stays home over my dead body. He's not going to D.C. But you see Hollywood and Mr. Prosper over there he ear hustling uh -huh. like, mm. oh, mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> mm. I'm going to keep my mouth off of this, but mm. Oh, and Mr. Prosper over there like, I'm not messing up my good meal over uh -uh. at this house. I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. Exactly. So, <laughs> Hollywood, later on in the episode, because we see that between Dollar and Ralph Angel, Ralph Angel is kind of on this approach like, it's not a bad idea because I want him to have every opportunity that he can have to excel in life. And if that's not what we can give him here, he kind of is tossing around the idea that maybe, maybe this would be good go. for him. Dollar's like, absolutely not. Um, Vi yeah. is like, absolutely not. Now, in my opinion, I think it will be good for him, you know, to challenge him. But it's just the wrong time, you know. Especially now, we, you know, hindsight 2020, you know, we know it's only going to get worse from here. Uh, but outside of the pandemic, I think it would have been a good opportunity for him. With this in mind that the mama... That the, the grandma had the right approach and gave it to them to do. And they made a decision to yeah, together. together. Yeah. So we now, now that you think that the schools down here are not good enough for Blue, so he got to come to D.C. to get a good education. And that's what that's, that was my thing with Darlene. Darlene has, her heart is in the right place. But her delivery is all over the freaking place. Mm -hmm. And it reminds you of, y'all know that little stuck up auntie that everybody has? That comes along once a year to the family cookout. And she know best she for, everybody. for everybody. Yep. She can do better. Yep. And she is better. And y'all would do better if you were in this place, that place. Right. And, and that's not always wrong. It's not always false. 
it but just, it's your approach. It's your approach, yeah. You, you make it seem see, like... See, when you approach, approach me that like you better than me... You messed up already. I'm done. I'm I'm done. I don't care if it's the first time. You could be the nicest person on earth, but if I get vibes from you that you think you better than me, I'm done. Yeah, you. I mean, it's a, it's a big turn off. Yeah, it is. You know, for you yep. to be way up here and you treating me like I'm way down here. And real talk, we don't want to level up the playing field now. Right. Don't, don't I treat me. I treat everybody the same. Hell yeah. That's why I hate being in an atmosphere where one person gets treated like this and another person gets treated like this. <coughs> Church. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. You know, everybody should be treated the same. On that note, <laughs> Darling and Unvi had an opportunity to have a conversation. And baby, baby, Unvi said what she had to say. Mm -hmm. And Darlene said what she had to say. <laughs> but I'm on the side of Aunt Vi on this one. She she is coming off a little heavy. Because at the end of the day, like Hollywood told her, you need to really stay out of it because you that's find Dollar. Find yours. Yeah, and yeah. that's Dollar and Ralph Angel's son. Right. So the decision is ultimately theirs. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Heck on the catch 22. The catch 22 is... I've done my part in raising that boy too. Yeah. So why is it now that I've gotten him to this point and now y'all don't take an over? I have no say so in nothing else. And I feel her on that. That's right. like that's like um, kids <clears throat> that have children and they're not able to handle it all on their own. And grandma and grandpa got to step in and help raise these kids. And then later on in life, you act like grandma and grandpa's input is not worthy or does it doesn't have any weight in the conversation yeah. and that's a day going gonna lie right it does yeah but here's the but here's the balance right here though is that once since they at the place where on by have released blue back into their hands to be their parent you have to it's let tough. them you have to let them be the parent. parent and if they decided to let blue go to dc even though you don't like it because it's there, because they are the parents, and you relinquish that responsibility back to them. You can't hold it against them. I that's, agree. That's just because that's control. But, it's I, catch but, but but I understand yeah. that they ought to listen at what Aunt Vi is saying and weigh it very heavily. Just right. don't just write her off because As if she has nothing. Yeah, to because say. we the yeah. Think about it. Yeah, don't don't be hasty in your decision. But yeah, but if they decided to send Blue to DC, you just gotta bless it yeah, and keep it on going. Got, yeah. So I, I told Dolly and said, "Listen, I raised that boy when your daughter couldn't, and mm, you would. wouldn't. Yep. And then here's Dolly. See, here's this, what pisses me off about these people that think that money is the answer to all things, which it really mm. is. The Bible even said that money will answer of all things. If y'all don't know it, read it. Um, and Dolly was like, "But I said money." Baby, you just said lunch money. We're not talking about the in-betweens, the ins and the outs, and the stuff that you don't know what paid for what, but it happened. That's why I don't like the child support system now. Oh, God. It's going to move on. Yeah, it just breaks We don't have no kids and so won't have no dog in that fight, period. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have no dog in that fight. It puts, it puts, it puts people like the thing of just, it just being a money relationship, and that don't, that don't help kids, man. It, de uh, it depends because you have some parents that are both like they do it and they're still a part of their lives. But I hear what you're saying. Kids want you. They yes. want you. Yes. They want you. And but I don't know. But how that's we got whole here. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know how we got here. But Hollywood, after Unvi ended up um, hanging up the telephone with Darlene and having a pretty much a meltdown, Hollywood was like, Yeah, this is much deeper than than. Then Blue going to D.C. So when you ready to tell me what <laughs> that really was about, going on, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be here. So I'm sitting there looking at Hollywood, and I'm like, how long has it been since his mom died? Because he seemed to be the level-headed one at this moment, but I realize it's been some months now. So we see later on the episode where <laughs> it was funny because this is our life, where Hollywood and Ralph Angel was <laughs> having a virtual face, yeah, face, bar night. Yeah. At their own personal bars over at FaceTime. And I laugh because we actually have like happy hour with yeah. our friends like once a month. And that's that junk that that come in a clutch it too. It do. And yeah, we be man. having a good time. We come up and like one time we got a sommelier to come in. 
and taught us about different wines. Like, we just have a good time. Yeah, but while you saying, let me put y'all up on game, man. You know, we're in the DMV, you know we got, we represent. Y'all haven't tapped into DJ Drake 804. Matter of fact, I'm gonna link his channel in the description. Check him out, man. He he on every Friday night. I think he do Friday night go-go's. He do Saturday night house parties. And then and during then, the uh, week, yeah, sometimes he'll pop hours. up. Sometimes he'll pop up. But the most consistent thing I've seen it's Fridays and Mondays. The, the Fridays and Saturdays. Yes, Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. So he on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So I'll go ahead and link the YouTube so you can check him out on YouTube. Absolutely. Yeah, he the bomb. He the bomb. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, he the bomb. That's all. <laughs> yeah. So within the um conversation, you know, this really kind of ignited Hollywood's passion for mm -hmm. the real spot again. Mm -hmm. So he ended up telling Aunt Vi, he was like, you know, I love you. We here together. And that's all well and good, but there's nothing like connecting with the men. Right. And just talking. And I know we can't do it in person. But maybe we should take the real spot and take and it online. And put it on Zoom. And Aunt Vi was looking like she thought it was a bad idea. He said, that's stupid, ain't it? And she was like, no. Wow, that's a good that's idea. That's a really good idea. And I talk about it all the time. My husband and them, they have, um, they have guys night. Yeah, we do it all the time. Week. They yeah. do different stuff on Zoom. And look, we like to have about our half or a few hours. I'm sorry. But um, I love you. Though. Watch yourself. <laughs> I love you. Watch yourself now. I mean, I'll be in here doing all kinds of stuff. Be but anyway, I do. Um, but it's good. It's good for. Then, like I told y'all last week, stay we. I do. <laughs> but it's good for men to have their own thing, and it's good for oh, women yeah, to have their yeah, own yeah, thing yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely gotta have separation. And we do. So we're gonna see that the real spot is gonna end up being online until the hey, pandemic is Hey, look, make sure y'all send me a Zoom over. link. I swear to God. Send me a Zoom link, I man. said, you better buy that domain for real, the real spot online, because somebody might be gonna steal that and snatch that right from my knee for you. Huh? So, uh, what else had happened? Oh, on Vi, she knows that Hollywood is doing better, but he's not himself. Still not in a good place. So what she did, she decided to blindfold him and take him down to the diner and she had fixed all of his favorite foods. And then it came to the macaroni and cheese and his mom made a three cheese macaroni and cheese. And when she said that she had made it a three cheese macaroni and cheese, he was like, but what's the three cheeses though? Said mozzarella, pepper jack, and goo. And, and goo. God I said, but it's a smoke goo to them. Huh? And, um, what you know about that smoke good? Cause that's what I use. Uh huh? I, I ain't used it lately. No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be on our vlog channel to know what we talking that. about. Yeah. But once he realized that those cheeses are what his mom used in the recipe, he kind of like fell back into that a little bit, and he was like, "That's what my mom used to use." And she said, "No, no." Mm. This, this is exactly how, how your mom, mom used to make. So she made his mom's macaroni and cheese to bring him around and she was like you're not okay and he admitted he said i'm not okay mm -hmm. and she was like but you don't have to put up walls around me so what we can do is until things get back to our new normal we just gonna keep ourselves busy we're gonna do some things to make uh, we, our lives and we're productive. gonna make some good trouble that's what we we're gonna, gonna do. make some good trouble i said i like that man <laughs> well i'm gonna try to tell you this honey Cause y'all just starting and, yeah. and we've been through it for yeah. a year. All that bucking gets old after about month four. <laughs> I'm tired of bucking right now. I need to do oh, something. Oh, yeah? No, I'm talking about bucking at a level that is just keeping you occupied. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I would say, what? <laughs> Cause that became the new pastime. That Netflix and chill. I mean, that's all you that's had. Pandemic and chill. That's I all mean, you had. Pandemic and chill. You know, and as you start to as you start to settle into this new normal, you get a little bit more comfortable. You go out more yeah. than you did at first. Cause at first we weren't going nowhere. Yeah. But now, you know, we, you kind of, you balance it out. You take calculated risk and you go yeah. and do what you gotta do. Let's get over here to what I really want to talk about. Honey. Mr. Davis West. I'm like, who is this dude? Like, do we know him? So, most of you all said that Charlie was having a panic attack. I had a feeling that they were going to make her come down with COVID. Yeah, but oh, at yeah. the same time, the symptoms that she was having weren't the known common top five symptoms that most people have when they have COVID. So I was like, maybe they're going to make it something else. And then most of y'all said panic attack. No, 
She called Davis West. He couldn't get into her house because he ain't got no key no more because he ain't gonna be over there because they ain't together. He had to end up breaking the door. I said, her door is awfully cheap. Yeah, because that, nice that joint was rattling. Yeah, like, you need said, to tighten that up. Like, you need to get you some four-way <laughs> screws in that bastard. <laughs> so, so he breaks in <coughs> and she's on the couch. And she's like, you can hear that... That wheezing. Mm -hmm. I said, no, no, no. And she <laughs> said, put your mask on. I think I got COVID. He was like, oh, hell oh. Let me put this motherfucker on. He ended up having a doctor on no, standby. three doctors. Three doctors. Yeah. That's, 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 that's when you have, that's, that's that when you money. got that money. That's where the money resides. <laughs> where you can get three, do three doctors on call. Stanley said, we got to call 911. He called yeah, the doctor uh -huh. personally. Yeah. And the doctor walked him through what, what she needed to do. He was like, get her off of her back, get her on her stomach so that her her lungs could open up, check her temperature, make sure, see if she's clammy, all that stuff. And then the doctor was like, you need to get her upstairs and get her into a firm bed. And Davis West took really good care of That's Charlie. why I said, who is this dude? And this Negro gonna say, because he asked her, you, you're not going to let Michael know. You're not going to let your family know. And I said, well, first of all, how many days has it been? Yeah. And ain't nobody called to check up on you? No nothing? Like your But that's kind of like Charlie's norm because normally she out there doing stuff anyway. And she then, in COVID. She ain't doing nothing. What? Why ain't nobody calling to I'm check on I'm just trying to make sense of it. I don't know if it's true. I'm just trying to make Her home son ain't called to pick up the phone. I know we in a text thing because yeah, I was texting Yeah, he, he did text say he having a good time. They making no. a difference up there. You all the way in another state, and you ain't called to hear your mama voice. For real? But you know these kids, these they're different though, man. They are different. They different. I ain't gonna lie. They text. They, they it's all text. So, I mean, you not that. Yeah. <laughs> so Davis was like, you know what, Charlie? You seem to be stable and getting a little better over time. But if you get any worse, we're going to the hospital. So here's Charlie being normal, Charlie. I don't know about that. There's mo there's people that are worse off than me. We need to see if people have, if the hospitals even I have beds and doctors. Davis West said, I will build a bed my dad. God darn self. If that's what it takes us Because Because after all, you got to be there for people that you care about. That you love. That you, I'm like. He said, you show up for the people that you love. I said, oh. It's like, who is this dude? I told, I told Annette, I said, he ain't no longer, he ain't Davis West. Like, he Davis East. Because he done made a whole 180 degree turn on us. That's Davis East. Shoot. I said, now, if y'all write this skit in here, that Davis and Charlie going to get back together after this, I'm going to be a mob bucking. Mm -hmm. But after a while, hey, uh, hey, hey, people done found love, uh, found the from, from well reconnected their love from worse things than that, Mike. Yeah. Hey, you can never say what God gonna do. That ain't God. That ain't him. That's 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 you and your lustful self and your familiar. And he's over hey. there having all these memories. Hey, he did it. He did it for Dirk Jackson, though, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he can do it for Davis Rock, though, man. Take your helmet of salvation. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just using a part of reference, man. Social proof. That ain't no social proof. That's, that's a fool. That's social yeah, proof, man. Whoo! But anyway, so um, yeah, they write that in there that they gonna get back together. I, I, I'm not gonna like this at all. And Charlie told David, saying, you know what? We gonna keep this whole thing to ourselves. Nobody is going to know that I had COVID. So what well, day, Charlie? Yeah, like she for real? Everybody, yeah. Uh, and then Davis West had even got to a point where he was like, I'm not putting my mask on no more. I've been in this house for several days. If I'm oh. going to catch it, I'm going to catch it. I was like, Davis, now don't be stupid now. Yeah, don't be a fool now. Yeah. I told my husband, I said, Charlie called Davis because in case she was spreading to somebody, <laughs> she give it to him. She give it to him <laughs> and not the people she loved for real. She said, I'm going to sacrifice you and not the rest of my family. But on a serious tip, it. yeah, I was I was digging this Davis right here. I like this Davis. This Davis, but yeah. Yeah, I was digging this Davis. And so he, look, he don't even put Charlie's hair into a ponytail. She said, wait a minute. Right. You did that? He <laughs> said, yeah, I needed to keep the hair out your face. I but, said, but we know what it is, is that you never, you, how, how they say you. don't miss your well, or your you water, don't, until your you, well run dry. Or you don't know you had a good thing until it's gone. Oh, he knew he had a good thing, but he thought that he could have a good thing and, and do his deal. A little side piece, too. 
Every now and then. Because he left home to do what? He left home to be with his side piece. <laughs> Y'all so, know that song. <laughs> mm. So in this episode, we see Nova and Calvin kind of going through that whole thing that they were starting to go through last week when we didn't never see Calvin, but we was talking about Calvin and we was pretending like we saw him, but we didn't see him. Nova ended up having a conversation with Avi about engagement, marriage, and she says she believes that Calvin is like right there ready to, to do something and she doesn't really know she how she... She ain't got to she, believe he told her. Yeah. So she ain't got to believe when somebody tell you. So real talk, I don't even know why we tossing this around. When, I, don't, when, I, don't, I don't know if Nova is ready though. Nova is not ready for anything but a blunt. An incense. A blunt incense, if anything else. Because she's real, she's consistent, but she's flaky. So she's consistently flaky. Can we agree with that? I guess so. Yeah. Like, we know Nova's going to be consistent in a few things. She's a runner. She's a track star. She going to run away when it gets hard. <laughs> and she's going to do her activism. Yeah. We, we, I mean, we know. Like, whenever love comes her way or when things get real solid for her, run. Even with the girl. Remember she was messing with the girl? When things started to get solid, oh no. Now things are starting to get a little bit more solid with Calvin and she's like, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the black guy. I can't even remember his name. Mm. Is, so, that the, is that the fear of commitment? It could. Or the fear of hurt. Being hurt. Commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we see that Nova, she gets out of the bed with Calvin in the middle of the night and she goes to sit at her laptop and she ended up getting an uh, email from... About um, Andre Nixon. Nixon, yeah. A guy that was paralyzed in police custody. Because he was an a, 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 a athlete. Yeah. So it kind of is a play on the whole Jacob Blake situation. Oh. So we see that Nova's pretty much going to write a paper on that. And we're going to see how that goes. But really, this week's episode didn't give us much other than the fact Oh, we that needed this break after that blow last week. Yeah, but I'm going to need them to speed it up because there's yeah. only two more episodes yeah, we got left. got two more, yeah. So, so we, yeah, Charlie got COVID. We seen Davis West. Davis West said, I'm trying to get my woman back. I don't care what y'all say. And then, and now we got to fight to keep Blue he's home. Stand, he's staying up all night long, ain't getting no sleep. Yeah. Checking her temperature every hour. That's cute. Keeping her water. Taking her upstairs. Yeah. But that got to be a hurt feeling, boy, out of all the people. You had to call your ex. Yep. But the blessing of it is, is that she knew that if she called him, he'd show up. Yep. And that he did, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty side. Two up. Two down. Holla. Holla.